Hi everybody, I'm back again with another video. This is just um, a quick filler video um, until I get time to do my next Hot Toys figure video. Um, this is because I've been downloading some videos onto my second channel and it's taken up quite a bit of time to do that. And I've uh, had to neglect this channel for a little while. So I thought I'd just put in this quick video of a work in progress project that I'm doing. It's to the civilian versions of the Avengers. Um, I have done some videos in the past of um, ones that I was making, uh, but I didn't like the um, the way they looked, so I basically I scrapped it completely and decided to start again. And the reason I decided to start again is because um, there's a company called, I think it's MC Toys, brought out some great clothing sets um, for the these figures so I thought I'd buy those clothing sets and start again so what do we have here we have um, Steve Rogers Bucky Adams a headless Thor Pepper Potts Scarlet Witch and Maria Hill um, I've used a couple of different types of body on some of these figures but I'll talk about that when we uh, when I show you the figures figures individually so without further ado we'll start with Steve Rogers okay here we have Steve Rogers this is the Hot Toys Steve Rogers from the twin pack of the um, stealth Captain America figure from Winter Soldier the only thing that's different is the baseball cap and the shades. Everything else is purely hot toys. Very nice tailoring on this figure. It's a really nice all round figure, actually, this one to have. Um, quite expensive on eBay if you can find one on there. Um, I think they're going for about almost $200 near enough just for this figure alone. Um, it's not really worth it. I'll say this is probably worth about $110, maybe $120 at a push, but because it comes from a twin pack, um, that's why the prices are so high. Pretty nice looking figure. So we'll now move on to Bucky Adams. Okay, here we have Bucky Adams. This is uh, the latest one that I've just made. Um, the body underneath is a ZC Toys muscular body. I believe that's what it is. I uh, can't quite remember offhand, but I think that's what it is. The clothing set, that's everything, including the boots and the hat and the rucksack on the back. I think it's MC Toys is the name of the company. Um, people in this community will know exactly what it is but I think that's who makes it um, the head sculpt I got from Facebook from one of the groups that I'm with on Facebook it's the rooted hair version of Bucky pretty good likeness but obviously this is from um, Civil War The only thing that I'm a little bit disappointed with at the moment is um, I think I've gone with the wrong sort of body because the arms, um, as you can see, are sticking right out of the side. That's as f f close as I can get them to the body and it's mainly because um, the joints on this body aren't brilliant and he's got three layers of clothing on the top. He's got a black t-shirt then he's got this um, sort of burgundy sweater vest type thing on and his jacket and of course it bulks up underneath the arms making the arms stick out but I think it's uh, I'm really happy with it I'm not going to change anything about it now that I've put it together um, the only thing that's a little bit loose is the boots on the pegs um, because the the ankle joint is a little bit longer than what I would have liked 
and um, the peg that goes into the boot is not quite doesn't quite fit as snug so it's a little bit loose and it's just a generic um, black stand that you can buy on eBay I think it's come out pretty well I mean yes you can see it on the camera that the face color is slightly different to the body color but I'm not too bothered about that it's a nice rooted hair An all round great looking kit bash, I think. So we'll now move on to the um, headless Thor. Okay, so this is a work in progress, this body. I'm not um, quite finished with this yet. Obviously, I've got to buy a head. Um, I would like the, um, the newer Thor head, but it's. Uh, at the moment the cheapest one I've seen on eBay is 70 odd quid and there's no way I'm paying that for a head sculpt so I'm just uh, biding my time until I can get one. The body underneath is a Fison muscular body. It's the one that comes with um, the three different penises. Yes, that's right, you can get this body with penises but obviously he's not got them because you'd never get them under the trousers. Um, the clothing set, um, I believe it's the actual clothing set that comes with the um, stealth Steve Rogers clothing set that you can buy from MC Toys again on eBay. Um, I've just, instead of using um, the jacket, I've just used the t-shirt and the jeans. Um, I might change it a little bit. The boots are also from that clothing set as well. But I think once the head sculpt is on, it will look pretty good. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to give him a jacket yet because it's Thor. I want to show off the arms. And it's about the right sort of size arms for Thor. But all in all, fairly happy at the moment. When I do get the head sculpt, I will do an update video. Obviously, I've got several more figures I need to um, make to put into this collection. So that's as far as I've got so far with Thor. So I'll now put a pause in and we'll take a look at Pepper Potts. Okay, I'm going to have to hold Pepper Potts because I haven't got a stand for her just yet. But um, it's not the Hot Toys head sculpt, it's a third party head sculpt, but I will eventually get the um, Hot Toys one because it is much better. And this head is a little bit wobbly on this body. This uh, Fison medium bus tanned body underneath. The clothing set, um, I just got the clothing set off eBay, just type in one six scale female clothing and this clothing set will come out. And obviously I had to buy the um, the high heels to match. I think this is an all round sexy looking type of figure. I love the clothing. Um, I was going to go for the, um, the sort of pencil type skirt suit, but I thought, no, nah, I saw this one on eBay and I thought this looks pretty good for Pepper Potts and it shows off the figure beautifully. Shows off all the curves. It's not a bad head sculpt. It's just not quite right. It's just a little bit off. Um, the Hot Toys one, although that's not perfect either, is a better looking Pepper Potts head sculpt. And when I do get that, I'll probably sell this head on. But yeah, there's um, Pepper Potts. We'll now take a look at Scarlet Witch. Okay, here we have Scarlet Witch. This was a figure that's uh, a third party figure. I can't remember offhand who it is. It might even be ZC Toys or it could be MC Toys. I'm not 100% sure. I'm sure somebody out there will be able to remind me who it is. Um, but with that figure, what you get is you get the body, you get the head sculpt, you get the hands, you get everything other than the stand. Um, this is a generic stand again that I bought. Uh, the only thing that I've added to this 
that didn't come with the figure. Um, what it did come with the figure is I changed the necklace because the necklace that came with the figure didn't look quite right. So I bought an actual um, Scarlet Witch Hot Toys necklace that came with the first one, the Age of Ultron version, and used that instead. And the head underneath is also the Age of Ultron Hot Toys Scarlet Witch head because the head that came with this body wasn't quite right it didn't look the part it's, it's really good third party head sculpt but i wanted to use this one because it looks so much better especially with the hair again really nice tailoring um the body underneath isn't the best um, but i would seem to find that quite a lot with third party bodies a nice sort of leather type boots Again, nice tailoring. I would have liked the legs to be a little bit more, or a little bit bigger, slightly bigger than what they are here. They look a little bit too thin for Elizabeth Olsen. But other than that, everything else is pretty good. It's good for what I want. As I said, the big letdown is the body underneath. I might change it at some point, but if I get one, maybe a Fison body or something like that, it's going to be a nightmare putting these jeans on it. So she does come with a couple of sets of hands, but I just went with these ones that are starting to fire up her magic. And this is obviously the look from the Civil War uh, start of the film. where they're tracking down crossbones. Yeah, I'm really happy with it. Um, so we'll now take a look at the final figure, which is Maria Hill. Okay, here we have Maria Hill. Um, this isn't the Hot Toys head sculpt. I might get that at some point. This is a third party head sculpt. So it's not quite as good as the Hot Toys one, but it's pretty good. And as you can see, the skin coloring doesn't match um, the Hot Toys one is slightly lighter, so that would be a better match. The body underneath, although it looks like a Fison seamless body, it isn't actually Fison. Um, I can't remember offhand who it is. Um, but again, this is one of the ones that I got off um, a Facebook um, group that I'm in. I think it's... Um, I can't remember the name of the... TNS Figures, I think it was, was where I got the group that I did. Um now the feet the ankles yeah that doesn't look quite good but i had to put something around the ankles because there's some very unsightly joints there some big gaps with the feet that come on this figure um, so i had to sort of put something there just to hide it but i might put some stockings or something on this figure at some point but um the clothing set um you can get these readily available on ebay um, just type in 1-6 scale Maria Hill and this clothing set will come up. It's a bit tight. It doesn't quite fit right on this body. Um, but it's good enough for what I want. I mean, I do have the Hot Toys Maria Hill in her um, shield clothing. But I just wanted to get um, a more civilian looking one. And this is the clothing set that's very similar to what you see in the Age of Ultron movie. But I'm happy with her. Um, so it does what I want. And when they're in the detolf and they're all together, you don't really notice these little blemishes. So I'll put a pause in, in, pause in here and tell you what I've got to make, what I've got to do to finish this uh, project. Okay, so here's all six of them together. Um, so I say I've got to finish off Thor. Um, got to just redo a couple of little things on Pepper Potts. I want to do I want to do Tony Stark as well. Um, I've got I want to do Hawkeye, obviously. Um, I might even do an updated Agent Coulson. Um, obviously, Black Widow is another one that I'm going to be working on. To add to this group and I will do a vision as well um, and I might
do a Bruce Banner to go with it. And possibly um, a suited up Nick Fury. But we'll have to see. But I want to try and do the whole of the Avengers if I can. Maybe even an Ant-Man. Just to get the civilian look for them as an alternative display. So let me know what you think in the comments. Um, if you've got any ideas on what I could add to a couple of these figures. Uh, feel free to put that in the comments below as well. Um, click that like button. I know there's a couple of people that always click my dislike button. It's the same people all the time. Um, that's what they want to do all day long, just trailing through YouTube, just clicking the unlike button. That's fine. It makes them happy. Um, but um, yeah, subscribe if you haven't subscribed and check back on my history of my videos if you like this sort of thing. And if you want to check out my second channel, it's under the name Darren Baker. Um, I'll put a link in the description below and you can check out that channel. That's purely for board games and things like that. So if you're into that sort of thing, feel free to check out that channel. So as always, thanks for watching. And the next video will be a Hot Toys figure of some description. So until then, take care.